Hey guys, it's unboxing time. Uh, Sailor Moon Crystal, Volume 2, or Season 2 technically, I believe that is what it is. And if I can get a shot of it without glare, <laughs> there is the package. I just picked this up today at Best Buy. Now this actually came out last Tuesday. Uh, and today is actually Wednesday, so. <laughs> but um, I went there today. See, I get paid on Wednesdays now. Not sure how long that's gonna last because my situation's changing again. But uh, I, right, right now I get paid on Wednesday, which means I'm not, I'm not getting those Tuesday releases until the next day. And in some cases, it took me a week to have the funds for this. Uh, I went to the store to get this and Moana today, hoping to get like the Steel Book of Moana. If I couldn't find that, I was gonna go to Target. Or, and uh, pick up the Digibook of Moana. Couldn't find either. I did not pick up Moana yet. Sh so irritating because I did find two steel books of Doctor Strange, which I was looking for last week, and I just gave up and got the regular boring edition of Doctor Strange. Well, uh, I didn't do that with Moana yet. Tomorrow I'm going to try a couple more targets, see if I can find the Digibook. I, at this point, I think I would rather have the steel book, but there's no chance I'm going to find the steel book. Steel books are impossible to find. Um, and if I look sleepy, I just came back from the draft house. They were doing a 9 to 5 movie party. So, yeah, I went to that. <laughs> and uh, anyway, uh, managed to pick this up. Didn't get to pick up any of the other stuff I was hoping to get. Just about everything I saw last week was gone this week, even stuff that wasn't on sale. They had Pocahontas with like a new slipcover. It's like the last Disney hand-drawn film that I, I need in my Blu-ray collection, so I was going to pick that up. I'm still going to look for it somewhere else tomorrow. But <clears throat> So yeah, I did at least get this. I had to go to two Best Buys to get this. Um, first Best Buy I went to, the some of the gold foil was missing. They only had one copy. And I wasn't sure if it was supposed to look that way. And I uh, took a closer look online. And yeah, I'm glad I waited. I went to another Best Buy that had two copies. Much better box. So I picked it up. Going to unbox it for you now. Again, this is the second volume. I already have the first. This is Sailor Moon Crystal. This is the revival show, the new show. The remake, the reboot. Um, I haven't seen it yet. I've seen like the first two or three episodes a long time ago. I've, I've you know, this is my second set. I haven't watched it yet. I haven't even watched the uh, re-releases of the old show, which I've been getting those also. These are coming from, uh, yeah, Viz Media. I didn't want to say the wrong one, but it's Viz Media. And uh, this is the sort of deluxe edition, the limited edition that comes with the uh, nice case and everything. I think this is a limited edition. Maybe this is the only way they release this. When they put this out in a nice case for the uh, old show, it's a limited edition. <clears throat> I did see this on standard def DVD today at Target, if that's what you're into. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and, and open this up. And uh, Well, let me show you the back. It includes a 96-page booklet and six art cards. That's been pretty standard. This is the way the back looks. Um, that's probably, yeah, that's a little cover thingy that's going to come off and, and go in the trash, though. That's not the actual case. But it's got, got a nice picture there. And, I mean, you could keep it if you wanted. It's got some stills down here. So it says, uh, The Pretty Guardian of Love and Justice Returns for a New Generation. And there's a nice description and uh, four Blu-ray, four disc Blu-ray and DVD combo pack, Black Moon Arc episodes 15 through 26. Okay, so, so, I don't know if that means it's, I don't know if it's the second season or what, because it sounds like it's continuing. There's actually a sticker on the front that says the story continues. <laughs> There's the front there. You can see that gold foil I was talking about. There's also some black marks here, but I think they're just on the plastic. They better be. 
Well, the bottom it says set two black moon arc. And uh, what else? 1080p HD, 16 by 9. English and Japanese stereo audio. English subtitles. Interview with Mamoru Clover Z. I don't know how to pronounce that. Clean opening and ending songs and art gallery. Okay, so those are your bonus features. Okay, we're going to take this plastic off. There goes the card that I will not be keeping. Now here's how the back looks. Got this more gold foil, really nice little flower design. Very nice box. It's copyright material, I guess. And on top, pretty design there. And then there's your Blu-ray case and there's your book and your cards so let's take them all out there's the empty case it's dark inside that's interesting and here is let's start with the blu-ray here's the uh, blu-ray case and uh, there's some of the stuff that was on that card And here is your cover. That's the way the standard def DVD looked. I saw it at, at Target today. Pretty cool art. What do you guys think of the look of Sailor Moon in, uh, in this particular show? She's, of course, made to look more like in the original comics and art. But... I don't know, they have more like puppy dog eyes here and everything, but I kind of, I, I like the old show. <laughs> I, I like the way they look here, but I like the old show. But I just got my Dakimakura pillowcase, and uh, it's, it's based on this show, and it looks good. So here's the inside, and you've got this Moon Kingdom background on both sides. And here is uh, the first disc, and the second, the third, and the fourth. I'm not going to pop them out because there's really no reason to. The last disc has, well, they all have extras on them. No, uh, not all. Two of them have extras in addition to episodes. Yeah, very nice. Very lovely. And also in the case was this book, which has some cool images and art design stuff. I'm not sure how that it differentiates from the other, the previous book, but I'm sure there was a book in the first case. But it's good stuff. I guess there's different characters here, more specific to this this season. It's very cool. Yeah. <clears throat> and, yeah, they probably do sell just the Blu-ray on its own without all this bonus stuff. Here's the cards. Really pretty art. There's, uh, as I call her, Rini. <laughs> Me, uh, get these out of the plastic here. I was going to do this review. I was hoping I would already have my Dakimakura with a pillow inside the case, but I just ordered the, case, the, the pillow. I'll talk about that when I'm done with this. Just briefly. So here are the cards that are inside the case. Sailor Moon Crystal, and then there's the cover art, 
Here's the art. This is the art from the actual deluxe case, and this is like from the actual Blu ray case. And then you have oh, different different colors there. On the back you have Wicked Lady. I need this action figure. I've been getting the uh, SH Figure Arts Sailor Moon figures. I still need that one. I still need Tuxedo Mask and Super Sailor Moon. Super uh, Sailor Mercury is about to come out. But I have all the basic scouts. Um, who else did I need? Super. Oh, I need Sailor V. And I'm not sure that might be it. Tuxedo Mask, Sailor V. I haven't opened my Sailor Pluto, but I do have her. I'm about I'm gonna open her probably this weekend. Just haven't had a chance. Nice stuff here. Super cute. I should have worn my Artemis hat for this review since I don't get too much use out of it. But I have to do some major spring cleaning right now and I can't even get into my closet at the moment and my hat is in my closet okay so that's pretty much the whole package you get your book you got your art cards and your blu-ray and here's the case and that is the unboxing of Sailor Moon Crystal volume 2 and I'm so glad this show is finally coming out here in America. Oh, you know what? Some of that black stuff was on this case, but it is coming off. I don't know what that was. There was some, like, black marks on the, uh, on the plastic, and I guess they were on the inside. But they're cleaning off. Okay, cool. Very pretty. On that shelf behind me on the very top is the first volume but again, on the floor, I have stacks of books and things, so I can't really get to it at the moment. But maybe next time another release comes out, I'll line them all up and show you all the, all in case you haven't watched the other videos. But yeah, these are nice releases. They're they're very pricey. They were coming out on sale for a while, you know, as they were being released. This one, not so much. But I still highly recommend it. It's Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon's awesome. My fascination with Sailor Moon, she's like one of my biggest cartoon crushes. Sailor Moon and a bunch of Disney girls, Ariel being one of the top ones, um, and Tinkerbell, and Rapunzel, and then many others with those three. Uh, and, and I've got other cartoon crushes, but Sailor Moon would be number one, and that's why I got this Dakimakura. Uh, pillowcase for a body pillow which I had to order online because you can't find the right size very clever anime dakimakura pillow.com that uh, your cases are not the average size <laughs> so I I ordered an extra I still didn't buy it from that website I got a pillow off amazon.com that is the right size and we'll see how it is um, nobody seems to make them with enough stuffing to where they're firm, which is what people need them for because you, you really use them, you know, for your knees if you sleep on your side, which I sleep on my side. But I don't care. I just, I want a pillow already for this. And this, this gal was expensive, let me tell you. And the pillow itself is expensive too. I mean... Even though I didn't get it from this site, which wants like a hundred bucks for a good good one, more really if you want it extra stuffed. Uh, so I, I mean, you know, I I got it off Amazon and it's still like forty or fifty bucks that I paid for it. But I got to get this thing. I, I want I want her all set up already, and I wanted her for this video, but I barely ordered it today, and I ordered uh, I ordered two things. I'm already broke. I just got paid. I ordered uh, the pillow for my Dakimakura, and I ordered the Figma uh, Elsa Frozen action figure. 
She's another of my cartoon crushes. I usually lean towards Anna, but I can definitely appreciate Elsa. Also, they don't make an Anna figure yet. I hope they do uh, make one soon, though. <laughs> and uh, so that's that's about that, guys. Um, did I forget anything that I was going to say? I guess not. Uh, anyway, I'll be back with another video soon. I'm really tired right now because I was at the draft house. Um, had a good time, though. It was really cool. Um, and had a long day at work. <laughs> Uh, so like, comment, subscribe, and please come back for more. I'm being kind of quiet right now because my mom is here on a visit. So she's in the other room right now with my sister and everything. And I always feel awkward talking to myself in my room. <laughs> my mom's in the next room, even when my sister's in the next room. But anyway, so that's, that's it, guys. Uh, we'll see you next time with more movie and cartoon stuff. <laughs> uh, see ya. I will be talking about some movies soon. I was supposed to do that already. And I will be back with another cosplay video in regards to the Mr. Gold Once Upon a Time costume I am putting together. Yes, it will involve me losing like a lot of weight or else it's not going to look right. But And I, that's why I'm growing my hair right now, which I've never done before in my life. Always had like short hair, but I'm going to grow it. going to do the Mr. Gold thing. Uh, if you're curious about that I posted one video already because I've got a few of the props already and I'm doing videos where I talk about those I've got two more planned and then it'll it'll take time but okay I'll see you guys next time